you are not. Let me be clear. You are not warming your way back into this family. Do you hear me? You might say that, Billy, but Mom... No, you don't call her Mom. She is my mom. She is not your mom. And you're going to stay away from her. You're going to stay away from her. Grandmother also. Yeah, you might want that, but they want me here. They don't know what the hell they want. See, there is more disrespect. Yeah, to a con man, more disrespect. They are flipping out because of the real Phillips alive. And they don't know what to think. And you're trying to con them with that again. OK, listen, I may have come here under false pretenses, but that is the only dishonest thing I have done. You expect me to believe that? What else have I done, Billy? You tell me, OK? I walked out of the Chancellor Fortune before the truth even came out, and I've never taken a penny from anyone. No one. Oh, I didn't earn it. What do you want, a medal? You're not going to get one You know why, Billy? No, I don't expect nothing from you, because all I'm going to do is get let down. Same as Jill and same as Catherine. They know if they count on you, you're just going to disappoint them. Because, you see, I am the one they rely on. It is me. For the past two years, it is a fake. I was a better son to them than you will ever be. Billy, what does it matter with you? You have everything a man could ask for, but all you do is just take it for granted. And that is the difference between you and me, OK? And that is the reason that Mom chose me over you, and she'll continue to do it every single time. You really are a moron. When Mom took over Jabot, she put me in charge, not you. Really? Is that what you think? Billy, that was political, OK? You were just a pawn. Political? What are you talking about, Con Man? What are you spinning? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You, uh, I don't know. You need to uh, ask one. OK, but you just ask yourself the question, all right? Why do you think she made you the CEO? Do you think it's because you have these fantastic leadership skills? No, no, man, I don't think so. Quite frankly, I think they don't exist. OK, fine. So uh, when did mom supposedly tell you all this, before or after I was demoted? Listen, I don't know. I don't talk about this. You need to talk to her, all right? I've, I've got to go to the hospital, and I've wasted enough time in this conversation. Mm-hmm. OK? Yeah. How did you find me? Well, I came to drop some stuff off that I meant to donate, and uh, the people at the shelter told me that you're back here. I am. You are. So, uh, what is this, like the executive office? Yep. You like it? Oh, yeah. Need some paint, though. Maybe a bulldozer would help. <laughs> hey, are you meeting anybody right now? Are you free? No, actually, I'm done, and I was going to take off. Really? Mm hmm Oh, would you like a lift? I have my car. Oh, OK. OK? Everything go OK after I left Chloe's party? Mm, yeah. Um, mm. Kane and I kind of got into it, so. Mm. Oh, dear. What mm. happened? I really don't feel like talking about it standing here in the alley, but uh, maybe we can meet up later. You know where? <laughs> Mary Jane Benson, I would like you to meet my notorious brother, Jack Abbey. How do you do? Nice to meet you, finally. I know so much about you. I'll be there. Perfect. Fantastic. See you later. Mm. Bye. Bye. Why did I hire Mary Jane? Was she recommended by somebody you know? Did she answer an ad? Did she come through an agency? Look, guys, I honestly don't know. We put out the word that we needed PR help. Her resume landed on my desk, and out of all the people I interviewed, she seemed to be the best fit. And you did check out her references, right? Jack, HR did, and they checked out fine. Look, guys, I've seen the news. I've talked to Ashley. But I don't think that we would have hired her if we thought that she was a total whack job, would we? Or maybe you should have vetted her better. Jack, it seems to me that you got to know her a whole lot better than I did, so. Well, you know, whoever set this up for her was a real pro. They gave her um, an incredibly deep cover. And wanted her at your bow. Who does she know in town? Who could she be working for? Drop all your other cases. Take this one on full time. I'll pay you double if that's what it takes. Jack, it's not going to be necessary. I am already working on the case for Nikki and May. Even though Victor wanted me to back off. What? Why? I don't know. He said he wanted to handle it personally. But that was before we figured out how really cunning Mary Jane Benson was. Just like whoever sent her here. Yeah. And now he agrees. The more eyes looking for her, the better. Well, one of those sets of eyes is mine now. So if either of us find out anything, we will share information. Absolutely. Same goes for me. OK, thanks, Paul. All right, gentlemen, take care. Okay, 
So, a woman shows up in town with a false background the government couldn't create. Whoever's behind this has a lot of money and a lot of influence. That make you think of anybody in particular? Jack, I know you despise this guy. You just heard Paul. Victor didn't want this investigated. He's already offered a million dollars for information that will lead him to Mary Jane. Lead to her arrest? Oh, that's what he says in front of the cameras, believe me. I know how he operates. Jack, if Victor is behind this... Jack, OK, what would his motive be? Why would Victor get mixed up with someone who had hurt his family? It just it doesn't make any sense. Maybe not on the surface. You don't know how this guy operates, believe me. Sicking a psychopath on somebody is just, just his thing. OK, then what are you going to do about it? I'm going to find Mary Jane before Victor does and get to the bottom of this before she hurts anyone else.